here you have uh, U.S. advisors in Iraq close to the battle. Uh, U.S. Advi- U.S. advisors are stationed over there at El Assad, which is in the Anbar province in Iraq. And they are actually surrounded by the Islamic State uh, in Iraq's when western Anbar province. More than 300 U.S. troops are now post- posted at a base in the thick of the pitched battle between Iraqi forces backed by tribal fighters and well-armed Islamic State of Iraq and Syria militants. So apparently this uh, U.S. soldiers uh, are surrounded by Islamic State, and they're taking uh, rounds, they're taking uh, rockets, um, just different types of uh, indirect fire at their base at al-Assad. So it's just going to be like this from until the... Um, until they can strike back and uh, do some heavy damage with the airstrikes and uh, and the Iraqi army and the Iraqi militias can go ahead and you know, leave the base and go ahead and engage the Islamic State. But I don't see that happening anytime soon because they're there to be training the Iraqi army so they can uh, go and uh, fight the Islamic State. Uh, if Enmar falls, it would be exposed. It would, it would expose Baghdad to even a greater risk, allowing militants to more easily... Uh, traffic reinforcements and weaponry in from Syria. If they take over uh, Anbar, the Islamic State, the Daesh people, then uh, this would be a straight shot to Baghdad. I mean, could be, they could easily supply, their logistics supply train would be solid. So that's what we don't want to happen. We want them to continue on with the airstrikes in the West. And Cent- CENTCOM, uh, Central Command, the uh, General Terry, has continued with his airstrikes. Not as much as I would like, but he is doing his um, airstrikes. Uh, U.S. defense officials said artillery or rocket attacks on al-Assad has been very sporadic and ineffective. U.S. and Iraqi officials said many landed outside the base, which that's a good thing. Hope they continue landing outside the base, uh, but uh, it won't be long before they start zeroing in on the, on, the, on the base itself, and I'm sure they know that. But it looks like there we have ground troops on the ground, 300 U.S. troops, Al Al Assad doing some training. Uh, say your prayers for them. Hope they all get to come home uh, as they're as they're uh, re- you know supposed to or scheduled. And uh, that's all I got. And uh, we'll just keep an eye on this and see how it's going. This is the American contractor. Thank you for watching.